welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a very, very simple recipe. It's a salad and it's great for Christmas. Matter of fact, it's called the Christmas salad. And um, my kids love it. My grandchildren love it. My great grandchildren, I mean, uh, because it has broccoli. They always say, we just want the flower, Grandma. We don't want the tree. <laughs> and I say, okay, no tree in it. But uh, we don't throw the tree away. We save that for something else. So we're going to get that ready. But um, I think they call it the Christmas salad because it's red and green for Christmas. And then it's white for the snow. We can leave the snow out this year if they want to. We haven't had any yet. I hope we don't have any. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, we don't need any. We'll see. But I don't know why I complain about it. I don't have to go out in it. If I need something and it's snowing, I call one of the grandkids. I'll save this for another recipe. So, it's been cold, but not that cold. It's funny, this morning, well, it was around 11.20, my daughter called and asked if I'd go out to the preschool with her to pick up one of the great-grandchildren from school. She wanted me to go so I could sit in the car with the other two so she didn't have to take them in with her. So I said, okay. I hadn't seen them, the other two, since Thanksgiving. And uh, they were getting a little rambunctious in the car. So I said, oh, I got new pictures from Uncle Greg. And they love it when I get pictures and show them from Greg. And he had sent me pictures this morning of three deer. He said they were in his driveway at the end of the drive this morning when he went to work. Oh, and they were so pretty. I mean, they were, I mean, he got right on them to take the picture, I think. I think they know they're safe in his drive. Matter of fact, he said they sleep right there under those trees. There was a big buck. Oh my goodness, was he big. Had those big antlers. And um, I handed the phone in the back seat. I pulled the picture up and I handed it back there to Chase. And he said, oh, that's, that's one of Santa's deers. I said, I don't know, you better be good. And he says, oh, oh, that's, that is, that's Santa's deer. Look at those things on his head. I know that's Santa's deer. So I thought that was cute. And then Claire wanted to see it. She was in the back seat with him. So he gave it to her. Then they started fighting over the phone so they could look at it again. And I said, well, let me show you the others. And I showed him the doe. And I says, now give it back to me and I'll show you the baby. Oh my goodness. That one was so pretty. And of course, Claire started saying, I wanna hold the baby. I wanna hold the baby. And I said, well, you can't. That baby's down in Tennessee. Well, let's go down there. I want to go down there and hold her. <laughs> oh, she was just so excited. And uh, my daughter said, it's like those that run through Grandma's yard, and you guys look and see them. And they got so excited over that. They just get so excited over the deer when they run through my daughter's yard. But... I'll tell you that beautiful, beautiful doe and that, um, okay, I've got the broccoli in there, 
but uh, now this this does not call for celery but I like just a little bit of the taste of celery in my salads so I'm going to make it my own and I'm going to put a little bit of celery in it I'm going to put probably mm, close to a half a cup maybe I'm going to cut it real fine and uh, add that to it quit ding in my bowl but uh, Greg said yeah mom he said they sleep down there under those trees and I said well make sure they don't go out of your yard which he can't do that because you know he's got seven acres they've got plenty of room to run but I don't want them to go out of there because of someone shooting them right now so anyway they're really pretty I know people have to have the f meat for food and I know we get too many the accumulation of the deer and everything but I sure do think they're pretty and they're too pretty to shoot but I know I couldn't my sister Carol could <laughs> she she relied on the food she needed the meat to eat and tell you one year she went hunting with dad and all of them and uh, she got a buck I mean it was one of the biggest ones they had ever got figured she'd get it though she was good at hunting and uh, she got it and it was huge but she always got one then I'm going to put the broccoli in. She always went hunting. She loved to hunt. And she'd clean them. She'd dress them out. She, matter of fact, she dressed them out for a lot of people out there in the country and they'd always bring them to her to do them so I don't think I need all that she'd make she'd cut the deer up and she'd make jerky oh she made the best deer jerky I mean she made the best jerky of anybody I'll tell you men would bring those deer in there and she'd clean them and uh, she'd make jerky and she'd make jerky out of the ones that they got sell it she never had enough there was always orders for more and she didn't have the deer to do it with but um, when anybody can make jerky better than Carol could. Mm. But then there wasn't anything Carol couldn't do. Tell you if she's still living, Greg would be having her do these videos instead of me. And they would be wonderful. She was his second mama. Tell the truth, she's probably first in line though. She was wonderful. And then you use a red onion. This onion was really big, so I'm only using half of it. Yeah, Greg always went up there and during the holidays and school vacation time and 
summer and stayed with Carol to go hunting with her. And he loved his Aunt Carol. I said he loved her more than he did me, and that was okay because she was really special. And there ain't nobody could say anything bad about her. She was like mammal. Best woman around. And I heard from Joy, her mom's okay. She just didn't have enough room on that card to put her mama's name on it. Now I feel bad that I thought something, but I'm glad that her mom is okay. So that's all that matters. Now the onion is optional. You can add it or you don't have to. I don't know how much of it I'm going to add. I guess I'm going to add it all. It looks like it could take it all. There. Okay. It's funny how you get to knowing someone and thinking things about them, and then all at once you something don't come through like it should, and then you think bad things. But anyway, I'm so glad she's okay and everybody's happy, and that was one of the best thing I, things I've, notes I've received. But I was so happy to hear that her mama's okay. and I'm going to put my tomatoes on there like that. Take my knife and I'm going to cut them in half. one of those salads that when you make it you kind of want to take it if you're taking it somewhere you want to take it in a clear bowl so everybody can see what it looks like all the way through because it's pretty all the way through okay now the dressing that it calls for calls for about a half a cup of Okay, I've got about a half, a little over a half a cup of sour cream in here, and then I've got a half a cup of mayonnaise, because I think that's about all it's going to take, uh, and then a little bit of sugar, a little bit of sugar, 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 sugar. Mix that up real good. And now I'm going to just pour that over it. I told you in the beginning that this was going to be a very, very simple, very easy salad to make. And believe it or not, you can see that it is. Now, I have some dressing left over, and you will too, because a lot of times your dressing, your uh, veggies and things will suck up moisture out of your... Um, 
salad out of your it'll take the moisture uh, everything out of your dressing and you'll end up with it being too dry so what you want to do is have a little extra and then you can just pour it on that's what I always do I always have extra so that's what I have left over then and then if I take it somewhere I just put it in a small dish that I can you know dump on if I think it's going to need it and nine times out of ten it does and this is so good mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, it's so good, you know, that is a really good salad because I love salads. You know, that's a simple, simple recipe. I'll have everything posted down below so that you can get all the ingredients, which you know what it is, it's only four items, and you can leave the onion out. Sometimes people can't eat onion or they don't like it. My daughter would leave the onion out. But um, I love the onion and I like the color of it. That's why I use the purple because I just think that's so pretty in there. But that's my Christmas salad and uh, I hope you try it. If you've tried it before, let me know. So if you have any questions about anything, let us know and um, we'll be bringing you some more nice recipes for Christmas and some that aren't Christmas because you can only make so many Christmas ones and you need some for after Christmas too. But that's our Christmas salad and thank you budges for watching us and if you like our recipes give us a thumbs up and tell your friends and neighbors and everybody about us and see if we can get some more people watching us and we love you bunches and we thank you bunches for watching us have a great week